Hello everybody, it is time to water my plants one more, once again, and this time, here I'll turn this guy around, as you can notice, this leaf, the first true leaf, has lost its shininess, its new leaf look, so now, which means it is ready to get a very mild fertilizing. But first, before you water, always double check to make sure that the bag that the bag is actually wet. I mean, dry all the way down. Because as you can see right here, the surface looks pretty dry, but that may be giving you a false false message there. So let me get you a little closer. Now, what I like to do is I take these skewers and I put one through the bag through here so it gets all the way through and I pull it out and I look at the tip right, I mean all right here that I stuck in there and at this level we're look, there's a slight moisture in there but not enough so so far it's looking good to be able to give these guys some fertilizer and then I go a little deeper about two-thirds the way down stick it all the way till I get to the other side pull it out and same thing kind of monitor kind of look at it and Basically, I'm getting the same reading. Um, it's slightly moist, but definitely time to water. So, now I'm going to... I was going to give them about 200 ppm worth of fertilizer. But, I'm going to be very cautious. And I'm going to cut that into about half. I'm going to, I'm going to do about um, 100. I guess half of 200 is 100, isn't it? <laughs> so let me reposition the camera. Because I don't think you want to look at my bag all the time. Because that's not really cool. Alright, and I'm back. I had a close ground jump the uh, fertilizers and the beneficials. And for my pumpkins, I only use the best fertilizers, which one of them is right here. It's Mark's, Mark's Mixes, Mark's Specialty. Great stuff here. Along with his Root Keeper, which also has, which I like, has humic acid in here, which help takes up the... Uh, fertilizers up to the plants so I'm also going to re-inoculate them with some more azos as well so I'm going to do that off camera so that it doesn't get too long of a video and I will be using my ppm meter to make sure I stay within that 100 roughly 100 ppm's range because I don't want to burn out burn my plants so once I get that mixed up I'll bring you guys back all right as you can see I got a little over a gallon of water mixed up with I didn't measure I um of some of Mark special tea and I mixed that up and then I did my readings then and I ended up around 160 between 160 and 170 uh, ppms which is still pretty good um, and then I put a teaspoon of of the root keeper and then the same with with the azos and those and that 
you don't need to um, read it with a PPM meter because it's not a fertilizer and it won't burn out your plants. So, um, for my first feet, uh, watering, I should say, when it, the sticks showed me the amount of moisture on there, um, I did over the course of a day and a half, I added um, about a cup and a half. Well, I added about, what was that? I added two cups first day, I mean, in the morning. And then I checked it, you know, the top and the bottom with the skewers. And then that was, I checked it in the evening and then I saw it could still be a little wetter. So I added a cup of water, let that sit, work all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And then the next day in the morning, it looked like you'd still use just a little bit more water. So I gave it another cup. And to me that was, I felt that was perfect amount for my situation. So that was four cups. So I'm gonna do the same with these guys. I'm gonna give them two cups right now of fertilizer, and then I will check it in the morning, see what it looks like, and if it needs more, which it might, I'll just give it plain water, and then and then when I get back from work, I'll check it again, and if it looks like it still could use a little bit more, I'll go to that four cup max i won't go past four cups of water in these bags so basically all i do is i just use a measuring cup and try to get two cups in there don't worry i'm not going to do all of the plants it would be awfully boring but yeah, basically, well, you all know how to water, but I always go put a little bit at first to rehydrate the top layer. Otherwise, it just rolls off and go down the side of the bags. Um, and with Mark's Specialty and all the beneficials, it's very safe to put it on the leaves um the lights will be going off soon um because the reason why i say that is these lights are like like having full sun and if you leave fertilizers on your leaves when it's full sun you will you will burn them you'll get burnt spots so it's best to do that right before the lights, basically when you're turning the lights off and then let the leaves dry so that you don't damage your leaves. But, well, as I should say, there is this one. I put two cups in here, like a cups of fertilizer in here. I'll check it tomorrow. And if it still looks like it needs more, I'll add a cup of water and then when I get back from work, I'll check it again. And if it looks like it still needs some more water, I'll add another cup. And then that'll be it. It'll be at, at my personal just four cup of water max to go in these bags. So there you have it. Wasn't too, not too difficult. Um, this will be the only time I fertilize it in the bags. Um, because they're gonna go outside on Saturday. So, yeah, this ended up, yeah, this did end up being a little longer video than I was anticipating, but hey, it's a lot of good stuff in here. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye.